Hey guys, this is Brock from Untamed.net. Today I want to talk to you guys about responsive videos, or at least the idea of responsive videos. See, responsive design is kind of everywhere now, and we use all sorts of really cool frameworks like Bootstrap or Skeleton. We've covered those several times um, in video and both on the Untamed.net site. But one of the biggest problems that we deal with kind of day in and day out is the idea of videos going into our websites. We want video people like um, video content and we want videos to fit well within um, each of our sites or an in, in individual project that we might be working on. However, I'm going to show you uh, one of the problems with video. So as you can see here, I have just a enormously simple um, site layout. This is actually using um, Paul Irish's HTML5 boilerplate. Um, I have a simple h1 tag, I have a div with a class of wrap, only using one div for this demo, and an iframe. Um, the iframe is coming from Vimeo and it is using one of their videos. So let's take a look at the CSS just so you know I'm not cheating. Okay, and there you see it, HTML5 boilerplate, but let's go on to the author section so we can check out that wrap class. So all I've done is I've created a wrap with a width of 65% of our screen, with a margin of 25 pixels on the top and bottom, and then centering it with the auto. Um, next, all I've made is a body background of maybe a darker gray and a main content background of white so we can just see it a little bit better. So let's take a look at the site. And as you can see, there's all of our elements and our video. So let's take a look at the problem. Whenever we resize this, our content is going down kind of predictably. So it is going down, you know, 65% kind of a calculated width of our screen and staying centered. However, the problem is, is this video. Not only is it not shrinking, but it's actually shrinking and staying really tall. Not really the responsive response we want. So I want to show you guys an awesome bit of... JavaScript that Chris Coyer and Dave Rupert um, made um, called FitVids. So just Google FitVids and then you'll find FitVids.js. This thing is wicked cool and as you can see they're kind of using a Vimeo example too here. But the idea is to dynamically resize a video to the content that it's fitting in. So first thing we need to do is just download it, head over to the GitHub page, and we will get that zip. Let me shrink this down so we can drag that zip out onto the desktop real quick. Okay, so let's take a look at what FitVids really is. We'll look into the file. Okay, we have a readme, a jQuery.fitvids, and a tests.html. So let's go ahead and open up this JavaScript file. Open that right up. Okay, and we're going to find a bunch of exactly that JavaScript, um, actually using jQuery um, uh, to control this plugin. So I'm going to copy all of this, copy it. And then I'll find our plugins directory within our site and paste that right in. And all I'm going to do is save. Okay, so outside of that, let's take a look at this, whoops, at this tests.html and see what they've embedded within the test to make it work. Hmm, okay, so here is all of their video examples. You see that? Now, if we could take a look at the source, what are they using to call that? Okay, looks like they have a container and then they're just calling FitVids. Seems pretty simple. So let's go ahead and copy this, the jQuery, then calling the class of container, then ordering up FitVids. So we'll copy that. Close out this, close out this GitHub, and we'll be back to our page. So, simply at the bottom of our HTML page here, I'll widen this out just a bit so you can see. At the bottom of our HTML page, I am going to open up a script tag. I'm 
Next, I'm going to paste in that. So what we have is we have our div class of wrap, and that's actually what's containing our video. And as you can see here, they're using a class of container, so we should only have to change that over to a class of wrap. Now we'll take this container class and simply replace it with a class of wrap. And command save. Let's see, so we have our plugins, we're calling up jQuery, and we have our class of Fitbit. So let's go to the browser and see if this works. And we'll refresh. Yep, it's working exactly like we think it's going to. So we have the Fitbit is activated and it is calling up our video and sizing it appropriately with our container. But one of the cooler things is not only are we getting dynamically smaller, but we're also able to make our video as large as the container will allow. That is one of the true benefits of a script like this with Fitbits and responsive design is not only are we targeting something like a small phone or tablet, but we're actually optimizing our video experience for large desktops. And we can play this in high def. and shrink our screen size while the video is playing. And that's pretty cool. So that was a short demo of how to use Fitbits and hopefully you understand a little bit more deeply on how to integrate the Fitbits technology into your next project. You can go nuts with this one. I wouldn't always recommend uploading a lot of videos to the same page, but you could understand how this could really be a benefit if you had something like a responsive WordPress theme that you were working on. You could call up FitVids within one single class of, an, of a document and implement it several times across the entire thing. I hope you enjoyed the screencast, and until next time, thank you.